What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Skyscraper, the official trailer drop during the Super Bowl, but this trailer is not a 30 second teaser from what we've been getting with Avengers. It's in the lines of what we got with Mission Impossible as far as a 2 minute and 30 second trailer. It's a long one. Um, pause. But um, this movie has Dwayne The Rock the Johnson and is not tied, I believe, to any like superhero universe or nothing like that. So all judges aside, I am walking in blind. I do not know what to expect from this movie. But the fact that The Rock is in it, I would think is an action movie named Skyscrapers. We probably see buildings fall. Let's check out the movie, um, which is kind of weird because he has a lot of stuff going on. He just had Jumanji. He has this now. He got, um, what was the other one with the fucking Rampage? Got a lot of stuff going on. I know he's, you know, big action star, does tons of shit, but Jesus Christ, I feel like when he just mm, shooting him out now. Like, it doesn't even matter. Just from one movie to the next, I get it. I dig it. Shit, line up your pockets, bro. Line up your pockets. I'm not mad at you. Let's see. Let's see, it. Let's see if this makes me interested in this movie. Let's check a look. Oh, right off the bat, shooting and jumping into a, a skyscraper. <laughs> mm. So we, it's a military. He said FBI with the military. Oh, my son got one leg. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just a little nervous. Wow, you look very handsome. Oh, that's Shorty from Scream. You have been preparing for this movie right? for six months. You got this. Yeah, that's. Let me ask you guys a question. Daddy loves who? Me. Daddy loves who? Me. Me. Exactly. Daddy's gonna go make that bacon. Oh. Cute. Mr. Sawyer, is your family enjoying their stay? Very much so. They're shocked you gave us the entire floor. After your security assessment, what do you think of the building? It's all oh. you expect. He's a glorified security guard. Please. The Pearl is the tallest and most advanced building in the world. You've built a vertical city. But you've brought with it every single safety and security challenge that I could think of. We thought this floor was empty. So did I. Not only have you brought them all indoors, but you've trapped them 240 floors in the air. No one really knows what would happen if things go wrong. Oh, shit. But I'm just a glorified security guard, so what the hell do I know anyway? <laughs> What's going on? The 96th floor is on fire. You're going to be just fine, I promise you that. No, 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 no. Tell me, how much do you love your family? Jesus Christ. That's a crazy you setup. Here? You're gonna have to tell me the truth. There's a reason they chose this building. What the fuck, bruh? It's the only thing that matters to me right now. What the fuck? They shooting him. They probably don't know. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Oh, tight. <laughs> tight. Okay, all right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Right off the back, I enjoyed the trailer. I understood why they made it a long trailer. They need to. They needed to. Because this is something we don't know what the fuck is going on. They needed to sell us on the story. And they did. They did. I am down to watch this movie based on the story of marriage. The action stuff, kind of cliche as far as, you know, they're in a setting that they can't get out and they have to try to find a way out. And he's doing it for his family. Oh, my God. I enjoy that type of movie setup. It does look like something I could sit with my wife, watch, eat some popcorn, and enjoy the movie. It is a cool premise. It is a cool premise, though. They're, like, in this building that literally feels like a city. I do like that aspect. That is a good story. You know what I'm saying? Like, this in a book would be amazing. 
amazing. Um, probably was a book. Let me know if it was. But it it, it does feel kind of, again, I don't want to say cliche, but it feels one of these, um, it feels like something that not anyone can write, but almost like if you was dreaming about a movie about a skyscraper in the sky, you're like, oh, what could go wrong? Boom. This could go wrong. A fire, you know, this. Someone trying to, you know, hold the family hostage. Everything in the book is going wrong is going wrong in this movie. And I'm not trying to fault it on that alone because I didn't even see the movie yet. But on the trailer wise, it does make for a fucking good trailer. And I got to give it that. Um, I'm going to have to lean on a four. To me, it did. It, it hit everything as far as get hype. You know, had its, you know, shocking moments, you know, sold me on story. You know what I'm saying? What it didn't do is sell a seat. It didn't, I do not feel obligated to go and watch this in theaters, which is kind of weird because just watching the, um, what was, uh, what was the shit? Um, Mission Impossible trailer. That shit sold me and I'm not a Mission Impossible fan, but the action in that movie backed up its, you know, I don't want to say lack of story. Maybe I'm just an action guy and I enjoy action movies. It was just one of those things that, you know, action movies is the reason why you probably go to theaters. The only reason why I go to theaters. Not to say that I don't go to movies for a good fucking story and a good fucking movie because I believe that's what Skyscraper is initially is. It is going to be a good story, a good shit that you eat and watch popcorn with. Do I want to see this in the theater? No, no. I want to see this at home, big screen TV with the wife kicking it where I'm able to pause it. If it, you know, if it gets dull and a little bit, we can actually stop and watch, pick it up another day. Like it doesn't feel like something I would want to be in the theater scene right away, which I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I have to see more. Maybe when they do drop another trailer, I could dig in more on the action side of things on where, you know, it's again, I don't want to fault it on the fact that it's not an action movie and it is an action movie. Technically, it looked like there's going to be tons of action in it, but it just didn't show like this guy fucking, you know, the rock fucking up somebody or, you know, as far as military fighting somebody you did, you do see a little bit of that, but you don't see Enough of it where it looks like this movie is going to have it all. It does look like this movie is going to be leaning on the story plots and stuff like that. And that's that's good. That's good. It is a good story. I'm going to enjoy it. But I don't think that it sold me to watch it in theaters. Yeah, if that makes any sense. But let me know what you think of the trailer in the comment section below. What are your thoughts? What would your score be? How would you rate this trailer? I'm going to be down there talking to you guys in the comments like always. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. Like always, you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these trailer reaction reviews. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a movie. And again, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the trailer. What would score you would give it? And also, did this sell you? Are you going to see this movie day one in the movie theater? I'm currently not, but I do want to see the movie, if that makes any sense. Let me know your thoughts, like I said, in the comments. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next trailer reaction review.